Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Teacher. Good evening teacher. Welcome to classes. How are you? Great. Great. Is it raining? No. It's not yeah, raining. No. Not, not anymore. Raining. It stops raining. It's raining yes. so so. A little. A little. All right. It's raining a little. It's raining here too, but it stops raining, the big rain, and now it's just raining a little as well. Okay. All right. It's time to start the class. Let's see what's new for today. This is our class number nine, right? So we have to finish almost this session two, right? So, oh, today is not May 2nd. Today is May 3rd, right? Give me just one second. I just need to edit this slide. Hold on. May the 3rd. The 3rd of May, actually. Okay, welcome, everybody. I see some people connected to the class already, which is great. Some people might be having some difficulties. Well, today is Wednesday. Is it true? Yes. Yeah, Wednesday, it's Wednesday. May. Wednesday, May the 3rd. Today is May 3rd. Yes, the date of the cross. Did you decorate? Today is the cross. Okay. Cross, como se dice en inglés? Cross. 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 Like red cross. Cross. Cross day. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Did you decorate it? Did you bring fruit? Did you ask for the rain? <laughs> because that is the idea, to pray for the rain, to have a good rainy season, to have a good harvest at the end of the year, right? To have plantations, to have corn plantations. It's not teacher. In it's a tradition. Uh -huh. You don't do the tradition. All right. Well, let's get started. Of course, the reminders for the class as well. And at the end of the session, participants will be able to offer solutions to a client that has had a problem with the product from their company by writing them in pairs and then offering them in the class during the target, I mean, using the target language correctly. Remember that yesterday we started talking about satisfaction, customer satisfaction, dissatisfaction as well. So how important? is to know if the client, if the customer is satisfied with the product or with the service. This is what we started talking about yesterday, okay? So today we're going to continue. We're going to um, do some exercises to have this idea clear, all right? How many people connected? 10 participants already? Some people are reporting that they are in trouble. Good evening. Some people say that it's raining too much. All right, I hope the rest can get connected. All right. Yes, we're gonna be having this objective. Of course, as I said before, we're going to have a review about the customer's or the client's satisfaction. And then, of course, we're going to complete some exercises using may and might. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Attendance. What about attendance? Let's have the attendance right now. Give me one second. Just need to get to the control. Wait a second. This should be 
know. Okay, let me see, let me see. All right. The attendance, oh my God. I'm gonna put it right here. All right, here. One second. I'm a bit lost with the date. Today is Wednesday the 3rd. Andrea Monte, are you here? Present. Hi, how are you? Carlos Ernesto. Nayet, Denis Fernando, hello, Gilberto Benito, present teacher, all right, Hazel, Berenice, Jose Andres, present teacher, hey, how are you? I'm fine, thanks teacher. Is it raining in your city? Yeah, it's raining. Right now I'm here in Cuscatancingo, so. Oh, it's yeah, it's raining here. Raining. Yeah, it's raining here. <laughs> in the zone. It's true. And it's, it has rained like the whole evening. Mm -hmm. Julio Cesar. Present. Hello, good evening. Catherine Beatriz. I think she's not going to be able to make it. Katy Briseida. Present. Hello, good evening. Maria Leticia. No, here. Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando Danilo. Present teacher. Thank you. Rudy. Not here, Rudy. My goodness. Salvador. Present. Hey, good evening. Susana Andrea Urbina. Nahir, Virginia. And William Boris. No here either. All right. Well, some people say present. Oh, Rudy say present on the chat. Okay, thank you, Rudy. It's raining too. All right. Nice. Yeah, I see some other people getting connected. Nice. Great, great, great. All right. Let me show the screen once again. Let me, let me just show it right here. Well, yesterday, as I mentioned before, we were talking about customer satisfaction. And of course, we're going to finish with that lesson. Okay, you practice this conversation with a product. Good morning, how can I help you? I would like to return this, you say camera, for example. Okay, what's wrong with it? Uh, it is not the right brand, it's not the right size, it's not the right resolution, right? So it's not the right model. I'm dissatisfied with the pictures or the quality. The resolution is very poor and the quality is very basic, <laughs> very unclear. I see, would you like refund or an exchange? I would like the refund, please. When did you purchase the camera? Or do you still have the receipt? Okay, so those were some of the, of the question. And you practice this conversation with a partner, right? And you change the information because that was the idea. One second, just need to fix something right here really quickly. So one second. Just need to get this one. 
all right here. Okay, done. Do you practice this conversation yesterday about returning an item, getting a refund because you're not satisfied? Do you remember? Do you remember? Or not? Yes, teacher. I don't remember. Yeah, you do remember. Great. Uh huh. So, Roberto, who did you practice with and what was the item that you wanted to return or get a refund? Uh, teacher, I, I made the conversation only only me because... Alone. Because, yes, alone. Mm -hmm. Because nobody worked but, in the group. But I, but I practice, for example, I, I arrive for return of this camera. Camera. Ah, camera. Yeah. So I can ask you, good morning, how can I help you? Uh, for example, I would like to return this camera. What's wrong with it? Um, it is not work and its screen is broken. I I dis dissatisfied with the camera. I'm dissatisfied with the camera. I see. Would you like a refund or an exchange? Um, I would like a refund, please. Mm, when did you purchase the camera? I I purchased I purchased it yesterday. Yesterday. Do you still have the receipt? Yeah, uh, I have here this receipt. So I'm gonna need a photocopy of the receipt, <laughs> and I'm gonna need <laughs> yes evidence. Okay. So you will get your refund as soon as possible. Okay? So that was the idea, okay? okay. Exactly. That was the idea to yes. practice as a customer that is not satisfied with, the, with a product. All right. Any other person? And you practice with who and what product? Mm -hmm. Someone else? Mm -hmm. I want to try. I want to try. All right. You ready? Yes. All right. Good morning. Good evening. How can I help you? Good morning. I would like to return this laptop. Wow. What's wrong with it? If it's not the right um, memory capacity. Mm -hmm. with the memory. You're dissatisfied with the memory capacity. I see. Would you like to exchange it or you want a refund? I would like a uh, exchange, please. All right. So what brand and what memory capacity would you like to get? Uh, I would like to... The memory as the 500 gigabytes. 500 gigabytes. 500 gigabytes. Gigabytes. Mm -hmm. So you would like to pay an extra $50 for that capacity? Yeah, no problem. All right. So <laughs> what color <laughs> would you like to get the, the laptop? I, I like uh, the color blue. We have it in blue, in black, and gray as well. So no problem, okay? So I just need your ID number and a copy of your receipt and we'll, get, we'll give you the new laptop. We'll exchange your laptop. Excellent, thanks. Ooh, nice. Somebody thanks. else? Ah, you are happy with the products. You don't want an exchange or a refund. Okay. And of course, we also mentioned the use of may or might. 
what do we use this two auxiliaries for? Remember, like last class, last last class, we finished studying the topic of can and could for requesting yes. something politely, right? So may and my are also modal auxiliaries, similar to can and could. But can and could, we use this modal auxiliary verse for requesting politely. So now we're using my and may or may and might as you wish. For me, it sounds easy to say may and might, but that's me, okay? So they are two, two modal auxiliary. So the key difference between may and my is that may is the present form and my is the past form of may. Sometimes you can use it in present too. So, but if you are going to talk about the past, it's better to use my. May you use in many different situations to give permission, to ask for permission, to talk about a possible situation. My is a passive may to ask for permission, to refer to something that could. So it's similar, right? So models may in my. May in my is first possibility. Possibly. You say, oh, it may rain. There's a possibility that it rains. Oh, you say, are you going to the concert? Maybe. So may be. Puede ser. So it's, that's why you say, may, there's a possibility. All right? It says, I may go to Hawaii for my vacation. I might go to Hawaii for my vacations. Both express a possibility. I may get the job. Oh, sorry, you may get the job or you might get the job. We may interview three people. You might interview three people. May, like the month of May, similar. The pronunciation is very similar. And the other one is might. He may not apply for the job. He might not apply for the job. It may not rain, it might not rain. Yeah, it may rain tonight, actually, it didn't rain. It may not work full time. They might not, sorry, they might, they may not work full time, so they might not work full time. I may ask for a refund, that's a possibility. Yes, I may buy a different store, at a different store. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expectations. Then she may want a refund on those units. They might complain about the service. We might ask to talk with the supervisor and he might not buy it here again. He might not buy here again. May and my express? What? Possibility. Possibility, possibility, exactly. All right. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, may and my is similar to can and could. For example, can in present and could in past. Very similar. Okay. Yes, the only difference is that this is for possibility and the other one was used for requesting something in a nice way, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this one, but also my can be used in the present. Not only in the past. Okay. So these are all examples. I'm going to give you, well, some minutes, probably five minutes to practice. But how are you going to practice? You are going to be reading. So you are going to read all these examples for you to get familiar with the structure. So you read the examples and your partner listens to you. And then vice versa, your partner reads and you listen to your partner. Clear? Solo se trata de leer. Yes. So that you can vocalize and get the examples, all right? Okay, one second. I just need to make small groups for you to practice reading these examples. Maybe here.
Hello. Hola, Salvador. Hola. ¿Ya practico? No, ahorita estoy viendo la, la imagen que compartió la teacher. Ah, ok. Yo también estaba viendo. Me acuerdo la cuenta de Google, obviamente. Solo iba. You may, you may get the job. We may interview three people. He may not apply for the job. It may not rain today. They may not work full time. I might go to Hawaii for my vacation. Okay, I may go to Hawaii for my vacation. You may get the job. We may interview three people. He may not apply for the job. It may not rain today. They may not work full time. Okay. I might go to Hawaii for my vacation. You may you might get the job. We might inter interview ever. Interview. Uh, interview interview their people he might uh, not uh, apply for the job it it might not rain today they might no no work full time okay yeah I eat I, Kati. I say, okay, may. I may ask for a refund. How do you pronounce refund, teacher? Do you remember? Exactly the same, refund. 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 Yes. Refund. Uh -huh. Okay, I may ask for a refund. You may buy at a different store. They they may apply. <laughs> no sé si es apply o oh. apply. Ya, a ver. Yeah. 
Este, Rudy y Shane están por ahí. Pone una, y si no es, o sea, como eh, no tenés, podés ahí, ahí te va a decir si no tenés. Apply. 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 Si quiera, okay. Uno, dos, tres. Sí, may not apply for the job. Uh -huh. La otra que está la parte, may not apply for the job. Uh -huh. I may not rain today. They may not. They may not work full time. Sí. I may ask for a refund. Refund. You may buy a different store. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expectation. Or no, Apple, she might. She might. Well, our phone don't do it. They might complain about the service. We might ask to talk with the super, supervisor. He might not be here again. Okay, what about you? I may, I may ask for a refund. You may buy a different store. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expectations. My, she might want a refund on those units. They might complain about the service. We might ask to talk with the supervisor. He might not buy here again. Bye. Yeah. He might not buy here again. That's the Ebola. Sí. Vea la de Don Gilberto, ahí está. Sí, es eh, la última. Estamos, estamos escuchando las a todas. A todas. Uh, bueno, voy a empezar con May, ¿verdad? Sí. I may ask for. A refund. You may buy at a different store. They might not provide a good service. It provide. might not provide providing a good a good service. It might not reach your expectation. And make my friend. She might want a refund. In, on those units, we might complain about the service. We might ask to call with the supervision. We might not buy here again. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Esas oraciones, compañero. Solo practicarla, la oración. Ah, ah solo practicarla. Uh -huh. I may go to Hawaii for my vacation. You may get the job. We may interview three people. He may not apply for the job. He Many not going today. They may not 
word for them. La siguiente, si quiere la ver, pero no. O sea, de main. Y entonces el, el concepto dice de, de teacher que es similar al Ken y Cole, ¿verdad? May, yes. de present, y, ma, y mix, de pase. Yes. Yes. Porque May... Eh, puede y puede, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. y, y el otro y, es podría. Y podría. Uh -huh. Como how the concept is very important. Okay, let's see. Any question? Do you have any question? No, everything clear? Everything mm -hmm. easy? Teacher. Yes. Eh, ahí este, hablando con los compañeros, eh, si llegamos a la conclusión, ¿verdad? Lo que él nos decía es de que el, el may va enfocado como hacia el presente, va Puedo. Y el may podría ya como enfocado hacia el pasado. If you translate, yeah, sounds. But el uso y la función es la misma. Es la misma, ok. Mm -hmm. To express possibility. You okay, say, teacher. cuando ve las nubes in the afternoon, you say, oh, it may rain this afternoon or it may rain. <laughs> It's similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, thank you. No problem. All right, teacher. with pronunciation or vocabulary? No uh, with, with pronunciation. Yeah, con, with interview or interview. Cualquiera de las dos. If you say interview, yes, interview sounds more British. If you say interview, it sounds more American. He may not apply. Apply, apply. is correct. Apply. Apply. Apply for okay. a job. Yes, application. So you say apply. Apply. In the in the last one, refund. 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 Yes. Refund. Refund. Mm -hmm. Somebody okay. else? I heard someone else had a question. I think it was Gilberto. Teacher, I, well, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. the, for response, uh, I can my, get my or, or, or not my. Cualquiera de dos, either or. May or might get a refund if you think it's a possibility. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So volunteers to read. With the chat. All right, Jose is going to read. Oh, you prefer Andres. <laughs> 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 to me, it's easier to call you Jose. But yeah, I see your name. So you're going to read. One second, I need to get this uh this spotlight. 
You're going to read all these sentences with me. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, teacher. Go ahead. I may go to Hawaii for my vacation. You may get the job. We may interview three people. He may not apply for the job. It may not rain today. They may not work full time. Very good, very good. Vacation? Usually you say ve vacation. Ve yes, like vacation. they watch. Vacation. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, somebody else wants to read the sentences with my? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I may I might. go to, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I might go to Hawaii for my vacation. You might get the job. We might interview three people. He might not apply for the job. He, it might not rain today. They might not work full time. Very good. Somebody? else to read this sentence is with me. Me, teacher. Go. I may ask for a refund. You may buy at a different store. They might not provide, provide a good service. A good provide, service. provide a good service. It might not Read your expectation. It may not reach your expectation. Reach. Reach. You read your expectation. Expectations. Expectation. Yes. Somebody else oh, reads with might. Me. All right. Ladies power. <laughs> she might want a refund on those units they might complain about the service we might ask to talk with the supervisor he might not buy here again yeah that's right okay good well let me just <clears throat> okay Okay. You have an exercise, may or my. Use the clues to make sentence. Look at the example. It says, may rain it tomorrow. So you have to put the words in order to make the possibility, right? So it may rain tomorrow. Be my you sick. So you have to order the words, okay? You. Uh -huh. You might be sick. You might be sick. Uh huh. So I'm going to give you the chance for you to do it with your partners. But at this time, I think I'm going to create new groups because you were very, can you see? Yeah, this is fine. And here we go. I share the screen. Yeah, the photo so you can complete the exercise. You might be sick. Okay. Thank you. Number two. Yeah. Jenny. Jenny 
may uh, have a fever. La número dos, ¿verdad? Jenny. Correcto. Jenny may have Bye. So use the use the number the number one number uh, one uh, you you might be sick. You might be sick. Yeah. Yeah. You might uh, be. Yeah. You might be sick. Number two, Jenny may have a fever. May may have a fever. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Jenny may have a fever. Yeah. Number three. Maybe, maybe, maybe broken my leg. Maybe mm. broken my leg. No, my leg, my leg may be broken. Yeah, así si podría ser así. Uh -huh. My, my, my leg, leg may be broken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sí. My leg may my leg be broken. May broken. Yeah. Be broken. Okay, number four. We we might need we might an ambulance. Need, okay. We might need an ambulance. See? Sí? Okay. We might need an ambulance. Okay. okay. Nosotros podríamos necesitarlo. Ajá. An ambulance. Ajá. An ambulance. The doctor may be busy. Yes. The doctor may be busy. And some aspirin may help your headache. Uh, this number six. Number six. So aspirin may help you. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. La cuarta podría ser we may La número cinco. The doctor may be bossy. Bossy, The doctor, huh? Yes. Good. The doctor be bossy. Pichar, le puedo leer mis oraciones. Hello. Hello, teacher. You finished. Do you listen? Yes, I listen to you. Okay. The first, you might be sick. Mm -hmm. Jenny may have a fever. Mm -hmm. My leg might be broken. Mm -hmm. We might need an 
What is the pronunciation of ambulance? An ambulance. In English? Ambulance. Mm -hmm. Okay. The doctor may be busy. Mm -hmm. so, so aspirin might help your what is the pronunciation of the word? Head. Headache. Header. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Aspirin might help your hair. Headache. Hair. Yes, headache. All right. You have some other sentences headache. from your manual that you gotta complete also with may or might. I already attached that uh, screenshot to the chat as well. You continue. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The service, the service might not be excellent. So, in, in the second one, the warranty, okay. the may warranty, longer, no, might. maybe, or might, might be, uh -huh, uh -huh. might be longer. No, Haria, maybe, maybe longer. Mm. Podría usar las dos, creo. Podría yo. usar las dos, ajá. The warranty, the warranty. maybe longer. Uh -huh. The doctor. The doctor. We, we finished the chair, but I don't, I don't write in the, the picture. No problem. You have another. Ah, com mm -hmm. complete the other text. Yes, to continue. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like it. Ah, yeah. Uh, okay. Bueno, solo nos falta el llamado, ¿verdad? Sí. Y la, pronuncia, la pronunciación de May, ¿verdad? May y me. Y... Uh -huh. Es que el mig como que sonara a, May, a de luz. May. <ríe> Ajá. May y May. May y May, ¿verdad? Sí. You have other exercise on your group. Did you check? Ya los hicimos. Ambos. Eh, sí, con... Bueno, hemos hecho... La primera imagen. Sí, también. Sí, de... Ajá, la segunda tenía que también crear oraciones, agregándole may o may. Hemos hecho el último cuadro que mandó, donde <coughs> el primero dice You might be sick. This Ajá, one. ese. Sí, ese. Okay. Uh -huh. And this one? Ese no. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no sé dónde estaba. <laughs> lo, envió, lo envió el grupo. Uh -huh. No, teacher. ¿Dónde estoy yo? Ah, ya, yo no lo había visto. Ya, ya lo vi. Ahora sí. No problem. Ok. <ríe> ah, aquí vamos a agregarle, no ¿verdad? Visto, no. es, es el último mensaje que tenemos en WhatsApp. Maybe longer. Might be 
utilizó el mail. Sí, yo utilicé el mail, pero no sé si quiere que le pongamos eso o usamos el mail. Porque ahí está hablando de la garantía. ¿eh? Sí, hay, creo que ahí es necesario agregar algo porque longer. Teacher. Teacher. Sorry, tell me. The teacher, we have a question. Uh -huh. uh, so, if we want to use one expression, may or my, for we want to talk about the future, what is more recommend? Mm, may. May. Yes. May is more when we talk about the past. Or, huh? or still the present. Or the present, okay. The present, huh? Okay. Yeah, we have just this interrogative. <laughs> All right, no problem. <coughs> okay. 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 Thank you. Right. okay, entonces, eh, podemos concluir de que el may lo vamos a usar. O puede, o puede ser más larga, no sé cuál de las dos es. Sería Yo la más adecuada. decir que la, la, la garantía es el objeto, ¿verdad? Sí. The guarantee. Entonces sería. May. The guarantee. May be longer. May be longer. Belonger. Mm -hmm. Number three. The Serbic. The Serbic. Make. Not be el excellent. Excellent. Number four. You. You make, ¿verdad? You make. You make. Tú podrías. You make. Porque también recomend, recomendado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Recomendado. ¿Cuál sería entonces ahí el... El, el verbo. Ajá, tú... El recomendado, recomendado. Sí, ajá. Pero el, el, el que se va a ocupar, el may o el may. El may. May, porque May. estamos hablando de, del pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ajá. Chu. Number five sería The Whiter, ¿verdad? The Whiter. No, el, el sí. Maybe in a hurry. Maybe, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Maybe. El mesero tiene prisa. In a hurry. <laughs> The winter. In number six. Amanda, ¿verdad? Yes. Amanda. Uh, May, ¿verdad? 
No, sí. you see. <coughs> Amanda. Make, dice. Sí. Okay. A ver cómo salimos. A ver. <ríe> A ver si, si le acertamos. Yo soy optimista, me siento. <ríe> Ajá, me ya. siento bien. Hello, hello. Se me fue el Inter y volví a entrar y caí aquí en este grupo. No problem. This is your general meeting. Ah, okay. <laughs> I saw you in the main room. <laughs> And I say, oh, ah. Salvador. <laughs> sí, yo dije, pues que ya, ya no he escuchado en Rolando. ¿sí? <laughs> no, it's okay. No problem. We're waiting for everybody to join. Okay. All right, everybody here? Yes? Yes, teacher. Great. Okie dokie. Let me see. Let's see. How about the experience? How was the experience? Not good, not so bad. <laughs> yes? Yes. Pondré mi reacción cuando sea positivo Correct. y negativo. <laughs> All right. I like it. I like that the attitude. Okay, the first one. Si ven a alguien con fiebre, todo a chico palado, ustedes le dicen. You me. Like you me. Be. You might be sick. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. Si, si miran a Jen ahí toda destrozada. Uh -huh. Jenny. Jenny, May. 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 May have. 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 Two of my my leg, my leg, <laughs> uh -huh. my leg might be broken after an accident, right? Hmm? Maybe hey. broken. Oh no! Uh huh. We we uh -huh. we may we may. Need an need ambulance. An ambulance. I need an ambulance. Yeah, now that many people are having accidents, yeah, we might need an ambulance. Uh huh. The doctor. The doctor. Uh huh. May. May. Be. 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 
La Esta es una palabra caprichosa, porque si ahí tiene una U, porque digo B. <ríe> porque sí, nada. <ríe> bici. Bici, es heavy. Palabra... Sí, bici. Bici. Esas son las palabras que, honestly, no tienen explicación. Yeah. O sea, el que tiene que ver la U con la I. La vocal <ríe> totalmente caprichosa. Yeah. No suena para nada con la vocal que tiene. All right. Anyways, next. Some, Some aspirin. aspirin. Uh -huh. My, My help. help. My, Your help. My help. My help. My help. Your headache. Your headache. Headache. Es headache. No headache. headache. No headache. <laughs> headache. Okay. It comes from head. Head, shoulder. Oh. Headache. Okay. Uh -huh. Otra palabra que es algo difícil la pronunciación, headache. headache. Porque uh, usted tiende a decir headache. headache. Y la otra teacher, el dolor de estómago. Stomach ache. Ahí stomach como que hay que un cake. Es tomachache. Ah, ah, pero nada como el dolor de corazón. ¿Cómo es el corazón? Heart. 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 heart, heart, the bottom of my heart. heart. Entonces, si le doy el corazón, es a heartache. Heartache. It's a heartache. Como los bastard boy. It's a heartache. Yeah. <laughs> It's a heartache. Okay. Headache. Heartache. Headache. Heart attack. Heartache. Yes. A oh, backache. Backache. Earache. Toothache. Todos son ache. Es como el, el dolor ache. Uh -huh. Aunque el dolor puede tener otros, otras palabras también que lo pueden llamar, como pain. Pain uh -huh. in the neck. Pero no todas las partes que me duelan van a ir con ache o no todas van a ir con pain. Mm. <risa> Porque si es un ojo, no voy a decir ache. An eye ache. <risa> no, I have sore eyes porque es más como un dolor, entonces un ardor. Entonces, sore. Mm -hmm. Depende también de la intensidad. Ay, el inglés está bonito, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. <risa> Consideraré el otro modo. <risa> Ay, <risa> I know, Mary. The more you study, the better for you. Le voy a contar un... Esto es científico. No me lo he inventado yo. Okay. Esto es interesting. Entre más aprendemos idiomas o más ejercitamos nuestro, nuestra parte lingüística del cerebro, tenemos menos posibilidad de desarrollar Alzheimer. Así que... Lo he escuchado. Así que esto es una terapia, ¿no? Pensando en su bienestar, ¿ok? This is a okay. therapy. Sí, porque ustedes están ejercitando, tienen que recordar las palabras, la pronunciation, dónde eh, cogerla, entonces son varias cosas. Fíjese que a un día antes de la, quiero ver, no, después de la Semana Santa, creo, después que tuve mi clase, mi hijo tenía tarea de inglés y él me estaba esperando hasta que yo terminara para que le ayudara. Y, y fíjese que pareciera que no, no se vea. <risa> pero, cuando, pero cuando me fui a ayudarle, le digo, ay, es una ya... maestra completa. Ah, no, yo le di la clase. <risa> yo le resolví ahí la homework. Era lo que recién vimos, distos. Ah, los, re... los de Monset y Pro. Ah, okay. No, igual Esto. tenía fresca la información. Sí. El teacher Blanca ahí explicando. Nice. I like it. No, y también hay otro principio en enseñanza que dice que no se olvida, o sea, lo que se aprende con gusto, lo que uno disfruta aprender. Y también sí. un, la mejor forma de aprender es enseñando. Porque yes. usted ya está reproduciendo. Sí. Que muy bien, denle clase a sus friends, a sus partners, a sus children. Teníamos sí. otro exercise y ese estaba un poquito, digamos, un poquito más largo porque tenían que agregar, ¿verdad? El may o el might. 
pero es opcional, o sea, usted con cuál se siente más tranquilo, con cuál se siente más cómodo, la verdad es que no hace mucha diferencia. May, okay. might. Yo generalmente okay. uso might, pero may. It's all right too. He may, not, jugamos... he may not be satisfied. ¿Cuál que era? ¿Cuál he usó? may not be satisfied. He, he, may, be satisfied. he may not be satisfied. Satisfied. He may not. Vale, algo que también debemos tomar en cuenta en estos auxiliaries es que es difícil de, de contractar. Generalmente se dice el auxiliary y el not. En el caso de ser negative, ¿verdad? Sí, cuando vi ese not, ya y cómo se contracta, decía yo, pero... <risa> sí, no, no suena bien, entonces no se contracta. En Ajá. algunos no aplica, ¿verdad, teacher? Uh -uh. Algunos models. Uh -huh. He may not be satisfied. Ahí dijo, se podría usar cualquiera de los dos, porque yo el sí. otro le puse. He, he may not be satisfied. Okay. Démoslo con cualquiera de los dos, vaya. Ahí está. He Para no not, sentirme que no lo hice satisfied. bien. <risa> <risa> Para Anda ponerme el chequecito. Sí. Vaya. The guarantee. The guarantee. The guarantee. May. May. Longer. Yeah. May or might may. be longer. Mm -hmm. May not be longer, may not be longer. En ese nos sentimos cómodas con may. May. <laughs> may. may be longer, might be longer. May be. Teacher. Maybe longer. Uh -huh. Can you repeat the pronunciation of guarantee? Ga ¿Cómo guarantee. Que gato. Uh -huh. Guarantee. Guarantee. Yes. Okay. Otra rebelde. <laughs> Digamos que eso todavía. <laughs> Obedece. <laughs> guarantee. La. Sí. The service. The service my not be excellent. May or my not be in a, in, this, is, this is number four. Ah, uh, number three. You, you're right in number Pero four. Pero arriba va. Ajá. No, aquí no hay nada que no me pueda resolver. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All is possible. Yeah. <laughs> Might not be longer. Y aquí ya con ganas de terminar el exercise. <laughs> you may me. or my recommend me recommend me <laughs> recommend me ah me sorry que aquí no tiene el mío no si sí, complement mm -hmm. you you mm -hmm. might recommend me one restaurant Mm -hmm. Or he might, or you might recommend something good. Yeah. Yeah, or you might, you might recommend me with your boss. Mm -hmm. A good restaurant, I'm going to put it in A good restaurant. A good hotel. The waiter. May. may or might be may. May. In, be may in, in, a, in a hurry. Hurry. In a hurry. In a hurry. In a hurry. In a Amanda? Amanda. May no use the public transportation. May not use. Mm -hmm. May or might not use the public transportation. All right. Okay, good. Nice. Questions? No questions? No problems? 
No question. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Easy peasy. Cool. It's clear. All right. Similar chocolate. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a piece of cake. In English, it's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. So asking for a refund, here you have some uh, expressions. I was wondering if I could get, uh, if I could exchange this. Can I return this? Do you think someone could take a look at this? I would like to return this. Is there anyone who could help me? And the other handling the refund. I'm sorry to hear, but you didn't, I mean, I'm sorry to hear you didn't like the product or service. I'm sorry we cannot give you the money back. Uh, but you can exchange it for another. We have proceed your request and you have and have issued a refund. So this is some expressions that probably you get when you ask for a refund or you want to exchange your product. All right. Now we are matching the words with the pictures and provide definitions. This is the recent code. Okay. We got this one would be the order number. This will be, remember that we're talking about shopping online, right? <laughs> so this one would be the item number. And this one would be the date of purchase. Okay. This one would be, okay, the refund request. And as you may see, okay, let me see. All right. Match the word, recent code, item number, order number, refund request, date of purchase. Do you remember? No? The recent code. And it's right here. This one? Order number. The order number. That's right. Mm -hmm. This one? Item number. Item number. Item number. That's right. Item number. Uh -huh. This one? Date of purchase. Yes, that's the date of the purchase, right? And this one? Request. Yeah, request. Yeah, request. request, right? Refund request. Okay. That's right. <clears throat> okay, let me just stop because I need to share the screen with the manual. Okay. So far, we have practice with May and Mai. So we just finished this lesson. And on this one, mm -hmm. this lesson, you will be able to request and give refunds due to bad service. So what opinions would you give your customer if a product you offer is not in good conditions? So this is a refund form, yes? Sender's name and address, water looks in, travel in, 23, Glenway, San Carlos, California, 0570. This is the note. Please note, water looks, customer satisfaction guarantee is 90 days from the date of purchase. Number two, retain a copy of your records and close the original with the merchandise. Three, use one line per item, all quantities are not are to be reported in each space. All items returned will require the original number or the numbers are recorded on the form so credit can be proceeded. This is the stock details, and this is important. Recent code D double P item number B seven A six nine. So quantity six date of purchase. 
it was of the 23 of November in 2017. This was the order number, and this is relevant reason, missing parts, okay? So at prevent the satisfaction or trial performance. Check the refund form to answer the questions, compare your answer. What are the reasons that re the customer wants a refund? Will the customer get the refund and why? So you have to read this information because this is the form that the customer that is dissatisfied with the product has to complete to ask for a refund, okay? To get the money back, all right? So this is what you are going to study and these are the questions that you are going to answer. And of course, right after that, okay, let's see. First, I suggest that you read all the information, okay? And of course, you just have two questions right here about this, but you also have this, what opinions, oh, sorry, what options would you give your customer if a product you offer is not on good conditions? So imagine you have a store, okay? And your customers come with a product and they want a refund or they want to return the product or they want to exchange the product. So what options would you give the customer? And so that's something you have to discuss. You also have to read this information and answer these two questions. And of course, you can talk about this situation. If it is possible to get a refund, it's easy, it's not easy, what options the sales person gives you. So you can give more ideas, yeah? Let me stop sharing the screen and your groups. I'm going to recreate the groups for better practice. All right, here you go. Estamos listos, compañero. Ok. Ahorita abro la imagen. Bueno, ahí vamos a leer este. Vamos a leer en el recuadro todas las notas y luego vamos a responder la, las preguntas. Las preguntas. Ok. Ajá. Eh, request and give refund due to a bad service or products. O sea, vamos a leer cuáles son las las notas que hay del 1 al 3, luego los stock details, los items important, y luego vamos a responder las preguntas. Por, por ejemplo, eh, note number one, please note, Waterloo's customer satisfaction guarantee is 90 days from the day of purchase. Ah, te dice ¿verdad? que la empresa guarda el uso. Eh, te da una garantía de satisfacción dentro de los 90 días desde la fecha que la compraste. Entonces ahí te está advirtiendo sí. cuando la compras en esta empresa llevas una garantía de sí. 90 días. Tienes 90 días. Ok. Ok. Eh, can you read number two? 
retain a copy of your records and close the original with the merchants. Este, with the mer merchants, merchants, o merchants. O sea, te, te dice que eso? merchandise. No escuchó que este uh -huh. qué página era. No, creo que mis no está ahí aquí. Sí. Bien. Hello, Teacher, hello. what is the, the page? Page. What, 25. What page? Yeah. 25. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Okay. You're welcome. Si gusta proyecte la, la, la pantalla, compañero, las preguntas. Espérame que aquí está. A respawn. Como que cuál sería las razones por la devolución. Exacto. I think that is because it he says okay, okay. Uh, uh, he say in the stock details there are for missing parts. Yes, I agree. Por esa razón creo que cualquiera. Cualquiera, <laughs> anyone. <laughs> uh, adverse event, dissatisfaction, product performance. Ooh. So, uh, stock detail uh, dice que D es dissatisfaction y product performance, PPP. En donde es el reason call. Sí. En, ajá, ahí, ahí es donde va a poner por la, la razón, ¿verdad? Sí. Por la yeah. que va. En la segunda pregunta es: ¿Would Good the customer get the, the customer? ¿Recibiría el cliente el reembolso? Will the customer get Mire, the creo que lo diré en español. Cualquier, cualquier cliente insatisfecho está dispuesto a recibir su reembolso, pero la. Has a fail. When the product is, is wrong, maybe. Not wrong. It, it, it has a problem or it's not working the way the fabric. are not okay. Ok. Muy bien. So then, we try to answer in the number three, I imagine. Yes. Number one and number three, the, the question and number three. Ok. Number one says, what are the reasons the customer want a reform? What do you think about the number one? I think I've told you, maybe you can give us, or Rolando, can you give us some ideas? Excuse me, no lo entendí. ¿Por qué cree Rolando o cuáles cree que son las razones por las que un cliente puede querer que le reintegren su pisticho por la que ya no quiere el producto que usted le vendió? Entiendo que sí, ¿verdad? Porque la, la, las partes están incompletas. Ajá, incompleta. Uh -huh. Dice, the customer customer get, get the perfume white? Ajá, Sería, customer, yes. Yeah. Yes, the customer get the perfume because uh, missing parts. Ajá. Uh -huh. In the order, in the, in the order. Ajá. Uh -huh. Esa sería como la respuesta. 
Ok. Ajá, como uh, digamos que usted piensa cuáles son las razones por qué usted quería un reembolso con cierto artículo. Ok. Yes. <coughs> um, podría ser. Because. Uh, ajá. Uh, ¿Cómo podría poner daños? Um, the, the screen, ¿verdad? Uh, for, for example, if you, if you talk about the computer or tablet or phone, you can say, uh, my, my tablet is broken your screen. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, que, está, que, es la, que está quebrada va su está pantalla. Está quebrada, sí, podría ser. Ajá. Es la más o... recurrente, ¿verdad? De los daños, ¿verdad? Cuando de los daños. La screen eh, is broken, o, ¿verdad? O my, is broken. O other, other example, eh, when I turn on my, my laptop, it's not, it's not work. O sea, como cuando encendes tu tu laptop no trabaja, no enciende. Yeah. Y otro ejemplo, the song no no es nice, ¿verdad? No good, it's not good. No good nice, ¿verdad? O sea, no, no good, está buena. Sí, no está buena. El, son, no el sonido el sonido no Ah, ok. Uh, for example, you can say uh, this song, um, aunque fíjate que ahí tiene, tenemos que usar una palabra para como el micrófono o la bocina. Teacher, how do you the say bocina? Quality, the speaker. Oh, mm -hmm. ok. The quality of a speaker is bad. Mm -hmm. Ok. In, in my opinion, the reason because the customer the phone is is because um, a bad quality in the product. A, for example, if if I buy a shoes, the bad quality can be can be, for example, a, the shoes is. The shoes, there is holes. Eh, los zapatos pueden tener un hoyo. O oh, oh, the saw, or the sewing. The sewing is broken. La costura puede estar rota. In, in, yes. my, case, in my case, in, in, in my company, in, in world, in world, los case re, eh, recurren eh, daños al the product, ¿verdad? Ok. E example, eh, garlic, eh, the garlic is, eh, is vano, ¿verdad? O sea, cuando usted agarra el ajo y lo, y lo toca, lo siente aguado, ¿verdad? Nosotros le llamamos vano, ¿verdad? Teacher, vano en Ban. inglés. O, oh, por ejemplo, mi mango está aguado. Sí, sí. Ay. Eh, eh, es lo más recurrente. Nosotros ah. cuando nos, nos reclaman, ¿verdad? Ajá. Como no, que esté magullado. No, o sea, que está vano, que está aguado, ¿verdad? But you're Pero está... About a fruit. Yes. Ah, uh, mm. yeah, fruit. Como un softness, maybe. Softness, suave. Mm -hmm. In the case de las de cinnamon, 
de eh, color es, es dar verdad mm -hmm. es dar es, es oscuro verdad mm -hmm. no no good al climb so the color should be brown light brown light brown okay mm -hmm. Okay, in my case, uh, the company get a, a rip. Hello. Hello, teacher. All Hello. right. Did you finish? <laughs> of course. All right. Here you have the questions. Check the refund form to answer the questions. Compare your answers. What are the reasons the customer wants a refund? Because missing parts. Missing parts. There are missing parts. Okay. This, of course, calls my attention because some companies might say that you lost the parts. <laughs> because they say, no, we gave you the complete parts and, and we took photos or there's evidence and you lost the parts. Probably. This might happen when the parts are very small, right? Or when you buy something that you need to ensemble later that is not ensembled. So probably this might happen, but this is missing parts. So will customer get the refund? Why? Do you think the customer would get the refund? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. Do you think the customer would get this refund? Yes or no? Yes. They will get the refund, you think? Why? Maybe to share uh it's like uh, give the benefits of the doubt. All right. If the business or the store really considers the customer, right? They would say, yeah, maybe. But you think with this uh, order, refund order, the customer would get the refund? Taking notes of this, please note, Waterlux customer satisfaction guarantee is 90 days from the date of purchase. So we don't know if they send this immediately, right? Or within those 90 days. 
Retain a copy of your records and close the original with the merchandise. Use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in each space. A license return will require the original order number recorded on the force of credit can be proceeded. Teacher, in my case, in, in, the company, in, in my company, uh, eight days, they guarantee the product. Eight days. But I chain, see, eight days. And, um, intercambio or reimbursement or reimbursement the, the money found the, pro, the the money the proper product because, dañado. because the products can be perish i mean they can die because the products are you say um cinema garlic and what else yes market and garlic Right. Spices. Sí, spices. Uh -huh. so it's, the cinnamon, the cinnamon no, no dañe, no It doesn't no get damaged. It doesn't perish, probably. Like, no muere la calidad. Yes. Really? Interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> but that's good that you shared. Okay. So you think this customer will get the refund? Probably he would. All right. Now it's time for us to study the use of how to use would and would like to. I would change this product. I would like to change this product. Again, <laughs> see, he would buy there again. He would like to buy there again. He wouldn't stay in this in this place. We wouldn't stay in this place. They wouldn't like to come back here. Would you give me your information? Would you like to get a refund? The difference is very, very little. Like, ¿harías algo o te gustaría hacer algo? If you see the translation, it's very, very similar. We use would plus the verb or would like to plus the verb. Yes. For example, you say, if I have money, I would travel. Yo viajaría. So this is like more possible probably. And if I have money, I would like to travel. So this probably expresses more wishes. So this is como más decidido que hacer y eso es como me gustaría hacer eso. Yes? For example, would you, let's say, the action is go to the beach this weekend. You say, if I have money, I would go to the beach this weekend. Or I would like to go to the beach this weekend. So this express more desire. And this is more determination. But it's very, very similar. Okay. La única diferencia es que a este le tenemos que agregar like to después del would. Y a este solo ponemos el would y el verbo. Teacher, el, el, yes. el, 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 el I would like es más como... Me gustaría, pero no estoy seguro de ir. Exacto. Depende mucho de otras razones, otras condiciones. Ok. Uh -huh. Como expresar un deseo. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Sí, chévere. Yes. Como pensarlo y, 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 y me quede en mi casa. Uh -huh. <risa> y dependo de otras, de otras circunstancias. ¿Dinero? Yeah, money, time, comfort, transportation. Ok. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes. Somebody else had a question? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, with number, number one, mm -hmm. would mm -hmm. I would change this product? Uh, quiero cambiar este producto. And the other would like to. I would like to change this product. 
eh, no se oye más por ahí. I would like to change this product. En este caso es como, ajá, sí, si sí, usted lo está viendo como un request, sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero si usted lo está viendo más como una acción que usted dice, yo haría eso. Es más como una determinación. Ok. Uh -huh. El primero. I would change this product. Yo, ajá, yo sin dudarlo, lo cambiaría. Okay. Pero en ese caso no me gustaría cambiarlo, pero voy a pensar. Todavía lo considero un poquito más. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the only difference. Y I would like to, es como más para expresar aquello, oh, me gustaría que la vida fue. Teacher, <laughs> would, like, would like to is informal. No, es para expresar un deseo. Um, Por ejemplo, te dice, ah, me gustaría vivir en otro país. Me gustaría que la gente tuviera más paciencia en el tráfico. ¿Ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I would like. In, in work, yeah. teacher? In no, work. Yo, yo lo haría. Es como, hmm. por ejemplo, if I have money, I would buy a house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Como más determinado. Probability. Mm -hmm. Más determined, yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Complete the following statements or questions. Obviamente, si vamos a hacer en question, iniciamos con would. En cualquiera de los casos. Por ejemplo, would you, would you live in the United States? ¿Vivirías en Estados Unidos si existiera la posibilidad? Yes, I would. Yes. Oh, would you like to travel to the United States on vacation? Yes, teacher. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. I would love to. Generalmente la respuesta de would, would you like to is I would love to. Oh, of course, me encantaría. Right? Bye. ¿Qué le gustaría que Ahí se Ahí está, está bien la número 5 o está mal escrita. She would. would. She wouldn't. Pero dice world. World. No, de ese lado o de ese lado. Eh, la número 5. La número 5, teacher. Ah, sorry. This one. Yes. Ah, ahí, hay un, ahí hay un error de dedo. Type. Oh. <ríe> ahí dice el mundo. Uh. Ahí debería decir O U L y no la R. Ok. Sí, typo. Sorry. ¿Cómo se lee cuando está bien escrito? Would. Ignoren la L en pronunciación. Se le dicen would. would. I would like to. En contractado. Wouldn't. Would. Yes. Okay, cool. Por ejemplo, number two, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't. Oh. Yeah, he wouldn't work on the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, vamos a ver, completenla. Voy a dar unos tres minutitos para que las completen como ustedes quieren. O sea, el complemento aquí es opcional. Todos seguramente vamos a tener diferentes ideas. And it's fine. Okay. Yes.
Ready? More time, teacher. <laughs> One more minute. Yes. Yes. All right. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, it's correct. Will she make the dinner? Will she make the dinner? Yes. Okay. Mr. Trujillo, wouldn't check the email? Wouldn't share his email? Would, wouldn't check the email? Check. Mm -hmm. Check. Yes. Check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. You have them all complete? Uh, would you like to change the car? Mm -hmm. I would like to go at the beach. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't walk in the night. She wouldn't? Walk, walk, walk in the night? Walk at night. Walk uh, at walk. night, yes. Uh, okay. Ahí en el verbo walk, ignore la L también. Generalmente la L en medio no suena. Walk. Walk at night. Walk at, at night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. That's it. That's it. Okay. Another person who is ready. Nobody else. Okay. Tomorrow you will tell me the sentences, definitely. Okay, <laughs> for tonight's about enough. And don't forget, tomorrow is our class number 10. That means, ¿qué significa eso? Mm -hmm. Platform. The platform, exactly. You must be working until section two. Y no solo section two, también el midterm, ¿verdad? Yes. For tomorrow. Okay. No excuses. <laughs> if you're, aquí le acaban de dejar un message. <laughs> this course will be closed in two weeks, so the 17th of May is going to be closed. So section one and section <coughs> two completed and the midterm exam. So for tonight, it's enough. But if you already completed the session one and session two, maybe tomorrow you can just complete the midterm. If you have questions, I think there is a problem in one exercise with would like to. Que se les olvida agregarle el would like to. Mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly which exercise is, but if you have problems or if you have any inconvenience, you can take a screenshot and put it on the group so that everybody can help. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. All right. So let's have the attendance and let's go. Andrea. Carlos. Dennis. Present teacher. Gilberto. Present teacher. Good night. Dennis. Hey, hey. Have a good night, teacher. Good night. Hey, so. Present. Good night. Okay, and this good night. Present.
Teacher, good night. Teacher, good night. Catherine, Beatriz, good night. Katy Briseira, Maria Alicia, hello. Present teacher. Hi. Roberto. Present teacher. Fernando. Rudy. Present teacher. Salvador. Andrea Present. Ocina, Virginia. Present. Hey, William. No escuché mi nombre, teacher. Which one? Julio César. Julio César, yes, I said it. Julio César, yes. I mentioned your name, yes, here. Okay. Katy Briseida? She left already? Yes. Can you stay for the five minutes one on one? Mm. No. Can you? No. You can't. All right, so it's Mary's turn. So yeah. Mary already left. No, she's here. <laughs> so I'll talk to Mary. Yes, Mary? Eh, uh, cuál? <laughs> Si se puede quedar five minutes. Oh, yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, Bye, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night, teacher. Good night. Blessings. <coughs> Mary, how are you? Mm, very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Mary. Como? Tell me about yourself, your personal information. Mm. Um, information personal. Yes. Okay. My name is, I live, I am, I do. My name is Maria Leticia Relegeño. I have uh, four, three, four, como es, 43. I am 43. I am 43 years old. Um, I live in San Rafael Obrajuelo. I live. I live. In San Rafael Obrajuelo, La Paz. Mm -hmm. mm. I have one. Mm. Ay, ¿cómo se dice? Hijo. <laughs> one song. Uh, one song. Mm -hmm. uh, um, ¿Qué más? Uh -huh. I work in Farmacia Santa Isabel. Uh -huh. And there's the things things uh, for years. Uh -huh. um, I no sé cómo decirlo. <laughs> try, try. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Gracias. Um, thanks. Thanks. Sí, you. sí. Thanks. Um, gracias a ello o a mi trabajo. Thanks to my work. Thanks to my work. Eh, I, I have, o oh, yo tengo, uh -huh. I have, eh, the opportunity. Uh -huh. And study. To study. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to my work, I have the opportunity to study. Uh -huh. Yes. And how do you feel about studying? Uh, how do you feel? What is your emotion about studying? Um, 
eh, bueno, <ríe> realmente este, tomé el curso por curiosidad, pero, o sea, yo cuando estudié bachillerato, yo sí quería seguir estudiando después, mm. pero no se pudo. Ajá, entonces, y después en el Facebook a cada ratito me aparecía eh, eso, ¿verdad? The courses. Bueno, uh -huh. Hasta que ingresé, leí, bueno, casi todos los días ingresaba y leía, co mm -hmm. quería comprender qué pasaba. The information. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y eh, le di ahí más información y directo me mandó al WhatsApp y ya el primer mensaje. Entonces, pues no dije yo, pedí información. Es Destiny, dijo usted. <ríe> y aquí soy. <ríe> este es ya es su cuarto módulo. Sí. Nice. ¿Y qué le pareció la experience? Uh, mm, muy... Very good. <risa> muy buena. Muy, muy buena. Sí, eh, pues nunca me imaginé estudiarlo así, ¿verdad? Pero siento La vida que... Cambia. Yeah, sí. Siento uh -huh. que, que, bueno, que esta fue la oportunidad que no tuve antes y, y, y la tomé. Sí, muy bien. De hecho, yo la felicito porque pues requiere de un esfuerzo. Requiere de, de tener la, la voluntad de estar despierta a esta hora, de estar sí, en, en sí. pie, estudiando, repasando, esforzándose, porque pues no solo es que voy a conectar la sección y ahí la dejo corriendo. Sí, no. No sucede no. así. Es y sí, que no, no, no tengo esa, así como de hacerlo, ¿verdad? Porque incluso me, me puse como oyente por, porque estaba mal de la gripe, ¿verdad? Pero yo siempre abrí. Y usted micro. siente como ajá, la necesidad de participar, porque si no sabe que no lo va a recordar después. Sí, sí. Ajá. Como dice usted, lo que no se practica, no se aprende. No, es que es mentira. Sí. Pero sí, muy bien, muy bien, porque el, igual el grupo en general están como bien participativos, son raros aquellos que están como más o menos así, nada más sí. la sesión iniciada. Pero la gran mayoría se está como participando activamente y eso es muy sí. bueno porque propicia pues el escuchar, el interactuar con los demás. Eso sí, yo que con el primer, cuando cursé el primer modo, la teacher que nos atendió, ella siempre nos motivaba a participar. Entonces como que, porque yo, yo me considero penosa, ¿verdad? <risas> Más cuando uno ni puede decir bien las cosas. Pero, este, pues, así se aprende. Y todos estamos uh -huh. aprendiendo. Sí. Uh -huh. Así Nadie es. Nadie no se ha aprendido. Así no, que... no. Muy bien, la verdad. La felicito y siga así echándole ganas. Gracias. Y ayudándole a su hijo. ¿Cuántos años tiene su hijo? Quince, ya va noveno. Ah. <risa> ya está grandote. Esto, esto definitivamente es la nueva realidad. La tecnología y, y el inglés. fíjese que lamentablemente él desaprovechó, le voy a decir la oportunidad, porque él es mi hijo único, mío, pero del papá son más. Entonces, pero eh, el tío de él, él, él no tiene hijos y está allá en Estados Unidos. Entonces él, el año antepasado y el año pasado él le pagaba en la Academia Europea un curso en línea y puede creer que él lo rechazó. Ay, a mí me dio de todo porque se pagaron como ocho meses. Por su, él, él abría el micrófono y estaba ahí. Mi, y una primita de él, a los dos les pagaba a él el estudio. Fíjese que ella ya quedó, dejó el curso porque ella va a bachillerato ya este año. Entonces su tiempo ya no le daba para recibir la clase porque la tenía a las dos de la tarde. Mm. Y ella a esa hora está todavía en el instituto. Pero fíjese que ella llegó hasta, le, uh, le voy a decir, bueno, este sería de nosotros que el... Es el módulo 4, pero el nivel 1, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, Entonces, ella, ella cursó los tres niveles. Ella, Intermedia y avanzada. Sí. Entonces, a ella le falta como el del perfeccionamiento, algo así. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y, y mire, yo cuando le revisaba los cuadernos, el cuaderno a él, ni la fecha del día que iniciaron. 
Ay, no, yo hablé con el tío y le dije, mira, lo siento y te agradezco por el esfuerzo que has hecho por ponerlo a estudiar. Pero sabe Pero... que él lo va a terminar pagando, se va a terminar pagando el estudio, ya va a ver. Cuando de verdad le, le cueste a él, si sí lo va a valorar. Y, no, y a, a quien sacate tenemos un ITCA y, uh -huh. y otro, otro lugar donde enseñan inglés y un día me viene con un folletito. Mira, mami. Mira, me quiero inscribir aquí. ¿Y veo yo de qué? De inglés. Mira, le dije, yo no me digas nada porque de donde, de donde dejaste de, 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 de recibir era mil veces mejor que esto que me está enseñando, le dije yo. Y, pero igual, vea, como está sí, participando. Ajá, igual está aprendiendo, está aprendiendo uh -huh. a vivir la vida y, y esas cosas pasan. Pero lo viera cantando en inglés usted. Y ese día de la tarea, él leía, o sea, él leía con una fluidez. Y bueno, yo no le dije nada, ¿verdad? Porque. Sí, tampoco. Me dice, a mí me, me dice, será, me dice, que por, que por qué paso escuchando música en inglés. Y, y la de canta. hecho, eso le digo, las nuevas generaciones bueno, aprenden con series, con Netflix, con juegos, sí. con canciones, pero sí, es mucho más fácil, pues porque están en una edad que. Y ya casi el ambiente en todos lados lo va a encontrar en inglés. Sí. Entonces sí. para ellos no es tanto como esforzarse, sino como ya un poco más natural, porque uh -huh. están como inmersos en el ambiente. Sí. En las redes eh, sociales. Sí, todo eso le como que... La lo, tecnología. Se prestan para eso. Exacto. Y eh, yo descargué, fíjense, una aplicación que se llama... Ball boys, ball boys. Cualquier, cualquier recurso tecnológico que le ayude a practicar, buenísimo. Ya sea vocabulario, Ay, mira que... ya sea escuchar, ya sea cantar. Mira, un día yo sentí que mi cabeza ya no daba para más. Porque ahí le ponen párrafos para que uno los lea y se graba. Mándeles el link en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, a, don, a Carlos Cerceño, a él se lo envié. Uh -huh. Eh, pero este, porque yo esa, esa página que se llama como Aprendiendo Inglés, algo así, la encontré en Instagram uh -huh. y, y pone ahí cómo se dice y pone un listado, vea, y lo van poniendo y cómo se repasa y todo eso, cómo se repite, cómo se lee, entonces yo se lo mandé a él. Y él también me, me manda cosas y sí, así de siempre de inglés. Sí, eso es bueno, pues, porque están compartiendo eh, recursos, sí. vocabulario, material. Sí, okay. es bien bonito porque el Duolingo no lo pude descargar en el teléfono, en el viejito, o sea que ya la memoria ya estaba. Ajá, sí está la capacidad. Entonces, de... el nuevo, en el nuevo he descargado esa, pero también quiero bajar la Duolingo porque esta por ratos me pide que, que pague. Mm, Esto no me sí. deja, algunas no, cosas no la me las que, Ajá, Duolingo <coughs> Muy bueno para vocabulario. Sí, otra que, que hay veces ocupo cuando tengo así un poquito más de tiempo es una que se llama Cake. Mm. Eh, esa. Envía el link en WhatsApp para explorarlo, porque igual de esa no, no había escuchado. Sí, fíjese que esa ahí la. Ajá, sí, Cake es como una florcita, como que es YouTube, pero en, en, no es cuadrado, sino que es así como cenefierito, como, como, uh -huh. que es una florcita. Ajá. Y, y ay, sí, es, pero yo hay veces después, cuando, si no tengo sueño, vea, entro y ahí me pongo. <risa> y mi hijo me dice, mami, dormite, así ni repasas, ni repetís como dice ahí. Me... <risa> <Qué bueno. risa> Porque mire, como me pone a leer, vea, y todo lo que yo no dije bien, en la aplicación me lo marca en rojo. Si lo dije más o menos en anaranjado. Si lo dije bien, me lo pone en verde. Está bonita la aplicación. Sí, está bonita. Sí, mándenos el link. Ahí lo voy a enviar. Lo a los estudios también. Ok. <risa> sí, fíjese que me ha, me ha gustado porque esa le corrige bastante a uno y, y me da pena pasar a la siguiente cuando veo que todo me lo ha puesto en rojo. Me pone el porcentaje de pronunciación buena que tuve. Qué nice. Y bueno, y si le doy pasar a la otra, me pone palabra por palabra el porcentaje que tuve en cada palabra. Ay, estoy mal. Suena bien, suena bien. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. 
sí, uh -huh. es bien exigente. Bonita. Sí, Ay, es no bien exigente. Gusto, de verdad. Y thank you so very much for staying. Okay. La compañera simplemente dijo, no puedo. Mm, no. <risa> Fíjese que igual la, la teacher, bueno, los, los tres anteriores, ellos siempre, o sea, como que no permitían que dijeran, no, porque más, y en qué estamos entonces. Gracias para uno mismo. Claro, uh -huh. pero, a veces también, es que quizás quizás ¿no? hay veces se imagina como que eh, va a ser así como un, una cabal cada quien sí cabal exacto así aprovechamos mejor sí <risa> bueno, pues, así es good night okay very good night take care bye thank you Mm-hmm. <clears throat>